In this video we're going to look at converting fractions to decimals to percentages, um, but really some of the ones that you should be able to do and some you really need to remember. There are like basic ones, such as a half, which you should already know is 0.5 as a decimal, which is 50% as a percentage. Okay? And these are equivalent forms. Now, that is one that I would probably expect you to know. But remember, if you ever got stuck, you could use the cycle that I described in the previous video that will allow you to turn any of these into the fraction decimal percentage that you need. Um, there's also a quarter, which is 0.25, which is 25%. And there's three quarters, uh, which is 0.75, which is 75%. Okay, so they are three that I should, I would expect you to know. I would also be thinking of that you would know what one tenth is. So um, one tenth is 0 0.1, so 10%. And of course, one over 100 is 0 0.01, which is 1%. Okay, so these are ones that I would expect you to be able to recognize. There are others. Um, that you might meet. Um, things like, where well, if I do another table over here, uh, things like one fifth or one twentieth or one third. Um, maybe even one eighth. Okay? So, one fifth, if you did uh, turn into a decimal, dividing top by bottom, one divided by five is 0 0.2, which would be 20%. One divided by 20 is 0 0.05, which is 5%. And one divided by three, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because one divided by three, if you try that, 3 into 1 goes 0 with 1 remainder, bring in 0, 3 into 10 go 3 with 1 left over, 3 into 10 go 3 with 1 left over, 3 into 10 go 3 with 1 left over, and so on. So it's 0 0.3 recurring, which would be 33.3 .3 recurring percent. Okay, so that's one that you would be useful to remember. 1 divided by 8, that's 0.125, which is 12.5%. Now what I would expect you to do, really, is use the technique um, that I showed in the previous video to work through these and and prove them to yourself that they are equivalent. Make the process. Start with the fraction, turn them into decimal, then into the percentage, and then try turning them back into the fraction again. Okay? And try it for each one of these and see how far you can get. These two at the end will be a bit difficult to turn, go from the percentage back to the fraction. Okay? So you might want to leave those two. But these first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you should be able to try.